everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals, and today we are going to be making some quick and easy ephemera using your scrap papers. And let me show you what my inspiration was for this. I was looking through my ephemera box the other day, and I came across these little cuties. I'm like, these are so stinking cute. Look how cute that is. It's just a piece of paper. And I... I don't know where I got this, probably in some happy mail. And look at these cute little guys. I thought, those are adorable. And here's another one. I'm like, I did not make these. Now, obviously this is really easy to make, but what inspired me was the size. These came from, I'm thinking, a big sheet of paper. And when you cut a big sheet of paper down into different shapes and different sizes, it gives it a whole nother look. Meaning this looks so different than just a big piece of patterned paper. So we're gonna use up some scraps today and then I'll give you some inspirational ideas on how to use these cute little guys. So check this out you guys this is one of two of my scrap paper bins yes it is true and i'm sure a lot of you guys have the same kind of thing so what i'm going to be looking for today is big pieces of paper and this is just for me I just think the larger pieces of paper, when you cut them down and uh, make different shapes out of them, it gives them a whole nother life and it makes them look different. So I'm gonna go through here real quick and I'm gonna pick out some big sheets of scrapbook paper. This is all things that I've used in my other projects. I like this one, I'm gonna use that. Let's see what else I got in here flowers you can use those so I'm looking for big sheets and it doesn't really matter what I'll use that I like this one that's on the top um, you know some of these are heavier duty card stock I don't know some are scrapbook paper you know just big big pieces okay let's see what else we have Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one too. Oh, man. It's so fun to go through your scrap pile because you're like, oh, look at all these cool papers. Oh, look at this. I don't even remember where I got that. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, we got some more here. Right. I don't know if I'll use all of these today, but it's a good start. So let me move this out of the way here. Jeez. Okay, so um, for this, all you're going to need is to go through your scrap pile. There you go. Now, to me, this is pretty the way it is. I think it looks great, right? But I want to make something out of this. Use it in a little bit different way. So let's just start cutting some of these up into smaller shapes. And this is really no rhyme or reason on any of this. I'm just gonna make some different shapes, maybe some squares, maybe some rectangles. I don't know, let's do, oh, actually I kinda like that like that, even though it's not, it's not even. All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut some of these up. To me, maybe it's just because I like smaller things sometimes. I think the smaller ephemera just looks so adorable in your journals, right? Oh man, all right, let's see, let's do some others here. Okay, so this is quick and easy, right? It's so fun too. Make a little square out of that guy. See, to me, this little guy 
is a lot cuter than the big plain sheet of paper. Or I mean the big sheet of the same pattern. And you know, another thing too is you could always tear these things. Let's let's tear up a couple. Okay, so we'll tear up some. I don't know what I use that for, but who knows, right? Let me get that out of the way. All right, so you guys get the idea, right? All right, let's do... This is very pretty, but I think it just gives it a whole new life when they're smaller. And I don't know why, I just do. I think so. And they just add such a cool added dimension to um, your journal page in, uh, you know, in a pocket, tucked on the side, you know, anywhere. I just love it paired with other ones. So let's do a couple more just because I'm excited. <laughs> ah, I love this. I think I got this. This is this is a pattern from um, some of the paper at, uh, I think that's Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby. And you guys probably do too. It's just so cool. Uh, let's see, I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to use that one today. Let's do this. So this can be scrapbook paper. It can be, I've done this with wallpaper. I've done it with cardstock, magazine images, anything really. You know, there again, sky's the limit. Okay, so let's move this stuff out of the way. And then we'll continue to create some of these little cuties. And I did a whole pile the other day. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Oh, yay. So we can just add that, whoops, to the pile. So these were all large um, pieces of my scrap paper. And so from, from here, what I want to do is just create some little mini ephemera. Just have some fun with it. And what inspires me is the shape. So something long like this looks like a tag to me. You know, it could be a um, border on the side for, you know, creating a pocket. But you could just make a little tag out of this. So things to use for these little pieces of paper here. I have done a couple the other day when I was, you know, thinking about this. So here is a piece that I just distressed the edges here and poked, you know, poked a little hole with my crocodile and added some ribbon. Here's one where it was three pieces of the paper and I layered them all on top of each other and added some lace. Here's a piece of wallpaper where I used a little corner punch. Here's another piece of paper where I just added, I'll show you how I did this. Um, this is just a hole punch. And to me, that is just so stinking cute. Two long pieces right here, I layered on top of each other. What a cute book tag, right? This little guy here, I added washi and some fabric scraps. Cute. This little guy, put some buttons on it and some sequins. This one here, I added some um, chiffon ribbon and some stamps after I distressed the outside. And this little cutie here, I added some liquid pearls. So it just, ah, this is so fun because it creates new, uh, what am I trying to say here? It just gives the paper 
a, a new life. It gives it added color and dimension and just layers for your journals. It's so fun and it's so easy. Okay, so let's get back to this one. All right. So this one looks like a tag to me. So things you can do, like I said before, is we're going to distress the edges here. That's one of the things you can do. And also, if you have a corner punch here, hold on. I've got all sorts of stuff going on my desk here. And do the corners here along the bottom. We're going to distress the edge here. I'm using my vintage photo, and I also have a little guy walnut stain. I like both of those. I'm really digging um, both of those. So this is kind of a scrap busting project, whereas the uh, tutorial I did a couple days ago was a scrap making project. <laughs> oh man. So just gives that some additional life right there. I love that. So what can you do on top of this? Let's layer. Okay, get another one of my little pieces here. Oh, I don't know. I think that looks good. Maybe we'll just tear this. Oh, remember? Oh, I tore it the wrong way. If you tear it away from you, not wrong, but um, if you tear it away from you, you don't get this little white. But that's all right. Okay, get rid of the white there, distress the edges a little bit, and then we'll glue this down. I'm going to be using my Scotch Create today. I ran out of my double-sided tape. Man, I'm going through that like there's, you know, no tomorrow. Sheesh, I got to get some more. Oh, well. that and then we can maybe layer something else on the top I don't know let's see I'm looking through my other scrap bits over here that I cut up oh but I don't know I don't see anything there so maybe add some stamps like I said I have a huge huge amount of stamps Ooh, and these little guys are really cute so we use that Put a couple of those babies on there. A little kangaroo. <laughs> what else? Oh, this this interesting fellow. I don't know about him. Uh, we could do uh, good old George Washington. He's glued on to another stamp. Put old George on there. Let's see what else we have here. Don't know who that is. Wait. Does that say Australia? So one of the leaders in Australia, put her on there. Let's see, what else? So let's see, I don't know. What did I do in my examples? I added some, whoops, what else did I add? I don't know. Let's add some bling. Okay, you know me. Love bling. Let me get out my bling box. Ugh. Got a lot of boxes here, you guys. The bling box. Check it out. Ha ha! Yippee! Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff I got in my bling box. This is so fun. I love the bling box. Where's my, where's my thing I'm working on? Did I cover it up? Oh, there it is. I don't know. Let's put... Okay, we'll do some silver bling. Let me just cut this, a little strip off of this. Just cutting up the edge. And this stuff, when you cut it in between the little bits of... Um, you know, the little rhinestones. Let me move this out of the way again. Whoops. Bonk the camera. 
um, it cuts really easy. All right, we'll just add that on there. I'm gonna use my art glitter glue for that because you can get a real fine uh, tip and it goes right in, you know, in the little holes right there. Right along that. Now where did I want this? I don't know, do I want it there, there? right there looks oops come on stick down there stick down there bling maybe i didn't get enough on there i think i did like maybe not on the end here it what what that looks cool what I think is so fun is you look at a big sheet of paper. Whoops, I keep bonking the camera. I apologize. You look at a big sheet of paper, right? And it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. I think it's really pretty. But when you cut it up into little bits or different, you know, different shapes, it just, it's so much cooler. <laughs> All right, so let's grab another one. From my pile here, see what we can do here. Here is a the big pile of what I cut up the other day. Oh, well, let's do this one. Who? I don't know. I like that. I like that. What are we gonna do on this guy? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I'll show you what I did. I just took a regular hole punch and right along the edge, I did three little guys together and I did it on each you know each side not totally spaced or even and then maybe even two on one maybe two little areas and then let's distress the edges again And this kind of has a metallic sheen. I didn't know that. I don't know where I got that. You know, and you can embellish these just as much or as little as you want. It doesn't really matter, right? I don't know. And I just think even that plain and, you know, still very, very cute. It just gives an added little bit of interest to that tag. So we got another one there. Let's see what else we got. Oh, man. Mm, this is all stuff I cut up. Oh, how about this one? There, there again. This is really cool. It's a pretty big sheet still but it's a lot smaller than my original, I think this was a 12 by 12. Oh, look at this. I didn't know that, but this looks really cool right on top of it. Oh, yay. Oh, another thing you could do. Where are my scrapbooking scissors? I'm telling you guys, these are so fun, so fun. So let's just go along the edge. And you know what? I got to tell you guys, you can usually find these at thrift stores. I've seen them a lot. And I don't know. Just be, like I said, these are old. I got these. I think I told you guys the story. One of my daughter's friends, they were all over doing crafts and somebody left this big box of them. And I asked all the moms, did anybody, um, you know, lose their scrapbooking scissors? Never, never found out whose they were, but fortunately for me, that was cool. You know, I would have given them back if anybody told me <laughs> they were theirs, but they didn't. So that's where I got all mine. But there again, you can usually find those at, at uh, thrift stores. I, I think um, it's pretty common. 
All right, so we're gonna glue that down. That looks cool. And what gets me going, you guys, is when you go through your pile of stuff, all of these, sometimes things jump out at you that you didn't think went together. Like, I didn't know this was gonna go on that. And so I'm looking through my pile. Oh, hey, look at that, that goes. And believe me, I did not plan this. No, I did not. So we're gonna layer some tags here. Put that on there. That looks really cute. Some glue. Oh, but wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> there's more. This is two-sided. Oh, wow. Cool. All right, we'll use the other side now. Okay. Distress that edge. So, there again, this is a larger tag, and I was trying to go with more of the the mini look here, but oh well. Oh well. And from there, I don't know. Distress the edges. I might cut this off. I'm gonna cut this end off. I'm gonna stick with my mini, my mini goal here today of using making smaller ephemera. But then have to save that, right? <laughs> Of course you do. Of course you do. All right. And maybe clip the corners again. No, I know what we're going to do. We're going to make a tag out of this. Well, it already is a tag, but make it more tag-like, I guess is maybe a word. So we're going to cut off the top. And I just kind of eyeball this, and this really doesn't work out where I cut one corner and then I do the other corner trying to keep it the same, but it never works. It doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I'm just, um, I do have a template, but I'm doing this as we go, so I don't have my template in front of me. So that looks pretty good. Okay, distress the edges. looks awesome awesome punch a hole in the top with your crocodile these are the bomb too you know so far as what i use a lot it's the crocodile i think they're fabulous now you can add a um an eyelet on there we don't have to I'm not going to do that right now just because of time. Thread a um, ribbon through the top and then you have a tag. Now, just look at all these cuties. Look at all these cuties, you guys. Oh, not these little ones. These are the offcuts of what I use today. Move those out of the way. But look at all these. And, I mean, you don't even have to further embellish them. You know, even sticking this behind this on a page would look fabulous, right? Oh, using this, let's find something else here. I don't know. What goes with it? Uh -huh. Who knows? I thought I would be able to find something right away, but I didn't. Oh, wait. Guess I did. Maybe this. Do that along the side there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. get another piece and just do like a collage. Oh, I don't know if I like that, but I like this. Oh, I really like that. Hold on. Okay. So that's where this gets to be so much 
fun is you just just grab things start layering right oh this is so cute this could be a side um this could be sewn onto the side and used as a tuck oh let's see what else do i have in my stash mm. let's see here see look at all these fun little bits right oh i love all these bits it's so fun i don't know i don't see anything right now except maybe oh the one that i cut off of this oh yeah okay Some other things that you could do with this, I will show you in just a minute. And you don't even have to do a lot of the layering. I was just having fun with the layering part of it. <laughs> That's not on straight. Yike. Yikes. All right. That looks really good. You can sew around these if you have a sewing machine. That would be really cool. I might do that later. You never know. Let's see. What else can we add to this, you guys? What else was on my list? Oh, stamps. Yeah, I did stamps. Liquid pearls. Yeah, we could add some liquid pearls. Mm. Just add some liquid pearls down the side. Sometimes these get clogged and you have to poke a, uh, put a needle in the top to get it going again. That's what I found that works. Because if I just like really squeeze it, <laughs> get a big blob. I don't know. That looks pretty dang cute to me. I must do that same thing on the other side. I like to have I like to have things balanced. See, there it goes. It's getting clogged again. I think it's because these are these are getting old. I've had these for a couple years, probably. See? Uh, uh. It works for like two seconds, and then it doesn't. So maybe I have something clogged in the bottom of that. I don't know. I don't want to figure it out. I'll just, I'll just go with that. Okay. Oh, yay. That looks so good. And then maybe I just thought of this while I was holding it, taking my scrapbooking scissors again and clipping the top to kind of make another tag here. Oh, that looks really good. I'm going to have to glue that down a little bit more, but I'm not going to touch it because of the liquid pearls. And when I touch stuff with liquid pearls after, before it's dry, it's not fun. kind of messes things up. So let me see. What else? What else, you guys? Oh, yeah. Stamps and stencils. Well, let's grab another piece from our pile. Uh, most of these, ooh, look at that one. I did this one the other day where I just, um, you know, distressed the edges. And this is a gorgeous card like that. Oh, without adding anything to it. Got to put that over there. Okay, like that. Oh, yeah, and put this guy over there, too. Let's see, what else do we have here, you guys? Just 
have a piece of paper. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what happens with just a piece of paper that I tore off. Um, what do you think would go on that? I'm thinking some of my stencils. What do I do with my stencils? There we go. Stencils. Move all these cuties out of the way. Let's go with my trusty vintage photo. And then on top of that, probably add something else. This uh, stencil, as you guys can tell, is one of my all-time favorites. I use it all the time. Okay, so that looks cool. And then, how about one of my cute little clean, these little stamps, these little, uh, these are plastic. And what you do is they have like a back, uh, backing that you can stick them on. This is like like a hard plastic. And then let's get a different color because that would be fun, right? Okay, let me grab a different color. I have a lot of minis over here. Ooh. Milled lavender. Oh man, okay. We'll try that. I haven't used this one in a long time. I don't know. I can't tell if it's dried up or not. It's hard to say, but oh well, we'll see, right? We'll see, right? Ah. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, it is kind of cool. Let me add some more. Do another one. I'd have to be getting a new one of those guys. Let's press that down. Oh yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good. Yay. Okay. Now since this is just a uh, you know piece of uh, writing paper, maybe putting this on a piece of cardstock or something. Let's see what I got. Do I have any cardstock in my pile here? In my pile of mini cuts, mini ephemera. No, I don't. Oh wow. Let's see. Let's see what I got over here, guys. Yeah, that'll work. This is the back of a greeting card. It just says, happiest of birthdays, which is very cute. So maybe I'll just do that side. <laughs> and Or actually do the back. Yeah, there you go. Can you see through it? No. Do the back, and then we'll save the happiest of birthdays for something. Just glue that on. And smush it down. Got my bone folder. I also have my wallpaper spreader around here somewhere, but I don't know where it went. And then I'm going to tear the back off just to make sure I keep my happiest of birthdays, because there you go, there's another tag. Oh, wow. Let me tear that off. Need to smush this down some more. Distress the edge. Now on this one, what I might do later is I might sew down the, um, 
around the border of that one just because I like the additional sewing on it. But if you don't have it, that's no problem. Okay, let's see. What else could we do? I don't know. Huh, I could keep going. Keep going forever, you guys. This is so fun. So fun. All right, so let me see. Let me add one thing to this. What do I think? Hmm. Let's do a piece of scrap paper, or no wait, scrap fabric. All right, I'm gonna just grab a pile. You guys don't, let me show you this. This is, this is wild. <laughs> oh my gosh, check this out. I had to stand up. Here is my bin. And this is a probably two feet deep bin of scrap fabric that I have used in my journals. Oh my gosh, hold on. I gotta move it out of the way because it's really big. Oh. So let's see, <laughs> I'm gonna grab some just out of the top. You never know what you're gonna get. tool. Okay. Oh, imagine that tool. Oh, and some, wow, that's, uh, I don't know where I got this. Looks like some giraffe. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be using giraffe anytime soon or anything that goes with giraffe. Maybe this. I don't know. Yeah. Burlap. That looks really pretty. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. What happens if you don't like the pile that you grabbed? You grab another pile. All right. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to gra <laughs> grab another pile from the top. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, look at this. I made a journal with that, and that's some of my extra. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, wow. All right, I'm getting excited here, you guys. A little overwhelmed here. Oh, wait, I found something. Okay, we're just going to go with that. Hmm, little rickrack. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in the piles. Okay, all right. So let's just add this on there. Let's do a little cluster, right? Yep. All right. Glue that baby down. I try to be random when I do this. Kind of bunch up the fabric bits. And I'll crunch them around. Now, I think that might not work, but this one might. Although it looks pretty cute just like that. Hmm, come on. And there again, this is where you got to watch the glue globs because this is a... A uh, very sheer see through type of material. And then you just kind of crunch it around there. And I'm going to hold it down there for a second. I hope I didn't go out of frame there. Sometimes when I, uh, when I'm creating something, I bring it up to my face. Get that out of there. Oh, and then what would look cute on that? A button. Where's my buttons? Oh, wow. Yes, I do have a pile of buttons here, guys. Believe it or not. And I'm not going to bring the whole thing. Well, I'll show it to you. This is just part of my button stash. 
Um, I'm not going to go through, I'll try not to be loud when I go through this because it can get really loud, you know, crunching around for your buttons. Oh, it's a little too white. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks really good. Let's just put that on there. Get my Fabri-Tac out again. This is one of my um, uh, decoupage buttons. I made some altered buttons. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on that. I'd be happy to do that. That's really, really fun to do. So where you take your buttons and you just give them some pizzazz. Let me smush that down in the middle. Okay. All right, you guys. I think we have it. I think we've got it. Let's go through what we did today and all the fun things that you can do when you create. I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to actually clip this. Hold on. And then I'll get back to what I was saying. I got distracted again. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Pam got distracted. Okay. All right. So, what do we do today? Well, what we did is based on just some cute little squares or rectangles of scrapbook paper, which are adorable on their own. Don't get me wrong. I decided to make a bunch of my own from my scrap paper. And here is the pile. And it's easy and it's fun to do. And like I said, a lot of these you can just use as is with no further embellishment, right? They're fabulous. Ha! Huh. So I have an extra. This is all going to go into my um, ephemera box. But what's cool is all the fun things that you can do with these little bits. Just let your creativity flow like this one. I just distressed the outside. What a cute tag. This one, you know, did the hole punch around the edges. This one, I distressed and I layered. Another layered tag. And then I'm going to add, you know, a ribbon at the top. Here's another one with just some stamps. Here's one washi tape and a fabric cluster. Here's another couple that I showed you guys. One with some buttons. Here's one that I did the other day with some liquid pearls. And this one is with some stamps and some ribbon. And here is a layered one with uh, lace along the side. And here's a tab, you know, a tag with the ribbon at the top. And then this guy here at the end, the one that's layered with the liquid pearls. So, oh my goodness, all these cool pieces of ephemera just from your scraps. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I can't stress it enough. Just adding one of these cute little pieces into a side tuck or a pocket, in addition to, you know, some larger ones or different ones. They're just, they just add an added element. And that is what's so fun. So, Thank you guys for being with me. This was fabulous. So quick, so easy, and got to say, very addicting. So thank you for hanging out with me today. And go bust some of those papers and, you know, make yourself a whole bunch of ephemera. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.